Hey, this is Natalie with The Fifth Journey, and I'm testing shampoo soap today. So I have nine batches that I'm doing. I'm doing half pound of each, and it's quite the range, anywhere from beer soap to goat's milk, coconut, um, honey and chamomile, and avocado, a little bit everything in between. So I'm testing today, and we'll go ahead and cut over to mixing the lye and then making the actual soap, and you can see how that's done. I'm ready to start blending, so this should go pretty quickly. I did put some natural colorants into some of these so I can tell the difference once they're done. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, mix them up, put them in these individual one ounce molds so we have testers, and we'll go ahead and get started. I started testing making the shampoo soaps in fall of 2018. Um, I spent a year and a half formulating, testing, retesting, making, researching and everything to get these shampoo bars how I wanted them. I did end up doing over 20 different batches when it was all said and done. And I'll show the ones here, the nine that I did, and then at the end there's going to be a short clip of making another set, and that was really the most popular recipe, and then fine-tuning some of the ingredients as well as testing the essential oil combinations to see which works best and which people liked best as far as their hair and what the scent was and these were my goal again with these was to be 100% natural so with the cold process soaps and with using essential oils I will have a video after this one um, now fast forward to current day with the actual results how to use them um, using a vinegar rinse different hair types, different water, kind of talking about that, but also going into making the solid shampoo bars, which I did after this, and that was a whole nother set of research and testing. I did have a large group of test subjects who were local, who lived elsewhere, different states, different hair types, different water types, different needs, different lengths, and I had a bunch of different people testing them. So everything is now done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this video out there for everyone to view to see how these were made, but stay tuned or look for the second video that is the how to use and the difference between the cold process shampoo soaps as well as the solid shampoo bars. They are very different products, you use them differently, and they're for different hair types, different water types. I personally went back and prefer using the solid, excuse me, prefer using the shampoo soaps where my family, my kids and my husband, use the solid shampoo bars. And most of the testers ended up staying with the solid shampoo bars. My sister, who lives uh, stayed away and has completely different hair, completely different water, she ended up going back to the shampoo soaps, which she prefers that. So different hair types, different needs, what it does with your hair, it's best to find one that works best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and it's been a very fun experience learning and researching and discovering the different properties and what works well for hair and what does not because what you use on your body and what what I would use in a body soap is not what you want to have in your hair. So the formulating and the formulations are completely different. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. It's been wonderful having you and we'll see you again next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow us to see new videos. We're going to have some new things coming up, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you again.